The Hornets secure the opening tip as they get the basketball first. We're underway in Charlotte to Batum. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. inside the paint on that one. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. In the front court comes Rondo. They trail by two. James, pass to the rim. Oh, nice find for the basket. AD, is he a new age big? Easy answer is yes. He is Mr. Versatility. He can do everything on both the offensive and the defensive end. He can fight the post, battle for position. He can protect the rim. Plus, if you switch, he can guard guards on the perimeter. That's what you love about AD. You need something, he has an answer for you. Lakers at the controls hey, right now up, to James. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? If LeBron James wins one championship in L.A., that means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Free throw's good, a three-point play, and with that, they go up by three. LBJ has it. To Cousins. Danny Green. Short jumper stays out. Fires the three. Double figures in the first quarter. Now at 10, including that three. And the more and more I watch, I become mesmerized with that foul through. That release is effortless. Curling inside. Rondo to the basket, but he can't finish. But two. Active fans to stay with it. We'll get a jump. They're set to jump it up to see who gets possession. Batum. Whoa! What a finish! Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. Come on, you're right. Come on, you're right. LeBron James missed his first. That one goes. The maturity of one of the game's greatest on full display. Yeah, LeBron James still proving that he can get up there with the highest of the high. But still, I love the fact that he recognizes less is more now. LeBron James 2007, every play is a dunk. Now it just happens once in a while. Enjoy the greatness. Here comes the screen to Cousins. From long range, they have to keep him in their grasp. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. Come get it. Come get it. Double, double, double. To Rozier. Five on the shot clock. Knocks it down from mid-range. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Danny Green to James. LeBron James, two for three now here in the first. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Let's it fly from long range. Oh, good offense beating good defense. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. Now the Lakers going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. 
Miles Bridges. Oh, emphatic slam. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. LeBron James, three for four. Good start. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. To Miles Bridges. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Jay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you have to turn around defensively and get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. Missed the second as well. To Miles Bridges. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Cruises inside for two. They'll take it from downtown. Let's see, Jay, if that wakes them up. Yeah, that was a big time three, but the most important possession is now, the one you're currently in. Don't focus on the next play, but focus on the present. So the whole Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. And they call it. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. to Caldwell Pope. Right, 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 right. Watch that cutter. To Kyle Kuzma. Cody Zeller uh, tips it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Has a chance. McGee shot misses. Miles Bridges. Good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Okay. You don't get a 10 for style points, but it worked. Lakers ball to Bradley. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Avery Bradley, he's got two shots coming. For his career, 77% at the line. Misses the first. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Like now whistle, and Charlotte is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Think you know everything about our team? Turn to page 15 in today's game program for the latest trivia question and submit your answer on the team website. One lucky winner will have a chance to receive five. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Into the game for Charlotte. Number three. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Pick up, pick up. Caldwell Pope. To Bradley. The pass set it all up. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. chance of a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. The free throw, good. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. James into the front court. He'll run the offense. 
and they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Just a tic-tac foul. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Caldwell Pope. Short jumper, won't fall. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. Lays it up and in. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. LeBron James, terrific shooting. He's four for five. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. And finally, play is stopped on the tie-up. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Los Angeles, number three, Anthony Davis. Chop, chop, chop. Keep it, keep it. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw up and good as they open things up to a 13-point lead. LBJ. Deep two there, won't go. Here's a steal. Dangerous pass. A oh, pass stolen by the Hornets. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. James. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. No doubt about where that one was headed. Rondo with the basketball. His guys currently down by 13. Nothing going here on that drive. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. And whether you're moving north or south or east or west, you got to be able to keep pace with the ball carrier and most importantly, stay in his chest. That's on the defender. It's way too early to be fatigued. Hornets come up with it. Uh, he was smart. Still gets it to go down. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Cody Zeller. Cousins. To Davis. Slams it down. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. I got help. I got help. In the second quarter. Beyond the arc for three. Textbook defense. Next, next. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Rogier. Saw a shot right there. Shot's no good. Los Angeles. They have it. To James. Cody Zeller pins it. That's his third block this evening. Just incredible timing on that swap. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist.
free throw good a three point play as they move in front here just before the break LeBron into the front court his guys should be able to get the final shot knock loose here's LeBron for two wide open look won't go you see, Ed, this is where coaches get fired. It's great to have good offensive sets, but if you can't execute, then the play was a failure. That's it. First half has come to an end. The Hornets way out in front. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Rondo into the front court. 14-point deficit to James. LeBron James with that shot. He's five for eight. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. To Nick Batum. We got him. Here we go. Nothing going here on that drive. Here's a chance from long range. Hits the trifecta. It is extremely prevalent right now for three-point shooters because of the skill set in every position is that versatile. Even your fives and fours can knock down threes at a high clip. It's a world of great three-point shooters and great three-point shooting teams. to Batum. Uh, passed it off. Count the bucket for two. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. LeBron with it up top. Down a bundle. Here comes the screen. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Maybe pace it right here. They got a big lead at home. Going to launch beyond the arc. He was all over him. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Look out, Anthony Davis with the slam. Brow down, Ed, when you come into my town. Wow, you rhyming right there? Obviously. But two. Baseline drive, the shot won't fall. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. And Cousins is fouled. Boogie going to the line. He's going to shoot two. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Goes two for two. Oh, yeah, right back to Watch Cutter, watch Cutter, watch Cutter. Four three, too easy. Defense has to communicate. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report though. Start denying him the ball. Charlotte with the basketball. Double team, double team, double team. Fires the three and drills it. Jay, spacing can be a beautiful thing. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. It's Cook with the basketball. His guy's down big. Cody Zeller snatching it out of the air. Fourth this contest. And he's fouled. Couple of free throws coming up, Jay. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. First one, count it. And he makes them both. Good shot, good shot. To Miles Bridges. Drop, 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 drop. And scores. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Cook to bring it into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Danny Green to Cousins.
to shoot for Los Angeles. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. I'm here, I'm here. We'll let him out. Stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. To Danny Green. Shoot it. Chance for LeBron James. That's usually one that he'll knock down. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning an ankle on that landing. Kid Gilchrist in a matchup with Boogie. Fires the three. Not getting the bounce. Hornets grab it. Deep three at the buzzer. That's the end of the third quarter. It's been all Hornets. Hornets with the first possession here in the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet. But with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the bag. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. Come on, show me something better than that, baby. It's game time. Man, clear the come lane. On, I on, got it. Hornets snare the rebound. Fine to shoot. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Knocked loose. Hornets come up with it. You got to go for the score here right now in this possession. From long range, off the mark. No good. Oh, a whistle. Those cat-like hands almost got a steal. Substitution being made in this one. Into the game for the Los Angeles Lakers. Number one, Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope. Batum. with four to shoot, but two. Let's it fly from long range. No good. That's great defense. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. He missed his first four from downtown. He finally gets a three to go. I'm going to tell you what every shooter thinks after he misses four in a row. One has to go in eventually. To Cousins. Marvin Williams sends it away. Boogie abusing the rim. Big finish. Now a timeout from the Hornets coach as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Match up, match up, match up. For three, 
He buries it. And Ed, when you have seven footers roaming the perimeter who shoot over 40% from the three-point line, why take twos? All five can shoot it at any given time. Shot from the lane, won't go. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We could break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chipping. Across the timeline comes James. He'll run the offense and a whistle. A simple touch foul. Here's James for two. That's no good. To Miles Bridges. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. To James. Driving right to the basket. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Yep, I got him. I got him. Here we go. I got him. I got him. I got you out. Double, double. Come on. To Miles Bridges. Anthony Look Davis. Look Huge block. Oh, five now. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Here's LeBron for two. Almost, but no good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Anthony Davis, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 79% of the line. First try, no good. Missed the second, 0 for 2. Beyond the arc for three. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching hey, speak about up, dwindle up. down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. Zero. That's his first personal foul. LeBron James. Trying to cash in on the three-point play. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. Here's a chance from long range. Man, that was a tough shot. Everything looks great when you shoot the ball like this. And yes, Ed, this team does have some issues, but they are all masked and camouflaged with this shooting display we're watching. 17-footer at the buzzer. It's the Hornets with the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. The Charlotte Hornets put their opponents away in a blowout.